So this is Baruch Fleischman at the Tikkun Elevator Kolo. We're about to begin our shear here in the morning. Amen. Hagem Meshecha B'Tefilas Arabis. This is what we're talking about now. This is Drush El Lilo. This is the very first Drush. And basically, I don't know, I didn't look through everything. Then he gets the Tikkun Chatzos, Drush El Lilo. So he's got nine Drushos at least. And then Tikkun Chatzos. There should be very interesting what's coming up. So he says, the Minhage Meshecha B'Tefilas Arabis. So he said, So a lot of people you see, especially I think in the well, you see in the warm ups to the Philus Arvis, he says, So those Mismorim, those Tehillim, that were used that we do say, many say before Arvis. He didn't say any tell him at all. Zulasi Shlosha Pesukim Ela with the exception of these three Pesukim. Behem Hashem Tzavako Simanim is Gablanu. Sechah Vachashem Tzavako 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 Asher Yadam Bateach Bach Hashem Hoshia Hamelech Yanenu Biyom Kareno. That's all he would say at the time. Vachakach Omer Kaddish, and then he would say Kaddish Baruch Hu, but the feet is Arvis. Bechem Bechelaylo Bechelel Motzoy Shabbat. Lo Chol Yenoig Lomer Alpha Beta Vaosam Amizmarim Klal, and he didn't say those Bezom Mizmarim at all there. So he says, let's go back and read the Tivakavanos on this. Let me see if I can get something underneath here. There we go. What does he say? He says over here, light print only. The lot that did this. The reason is because they don't read the Pesukim at night time. There's, there's an Indian over there. And we call Makom in any case. We do say this. So therefore we say Pesukim. So the question is, why do we say Pesukim? Because in Nusach Sfard and Sfardi, there's a Kaddish that comes right before Marav. So he says, well, but there we do say a Pesukim. But that's because you have to have a Pesukim before you can say uh, Kaddish. So there's more about this in the Shefa Kabonus. We're not going to look at that there now. So he said, number number Gimel. He said, Yesh Noagim Lomer B'Motzoi Shabbat Shabbos Kodan Tefiris Arvis Mizber Alpha Beta. So that is Perik Yud Tas Kikuf Yud Tas, which is a very long Perik in Tehillim. In, in Tehillim. V'od Mizmori Tehillim and others besides that. Am Dech Rebein Dech Rizach Bedoch Bechayodoch Amram. He did not do this. Because we don't say this mikra, we don't say pasukim from the Tanakh at night time. So going on, let's see, we're on number four now. Let's read read up above. Because now, whoops, I can't see it. Now is the time of dinim kashim. So we don't say again Ube in the Zedaka and Sorok the says Kodan to feed his artist, Kamabashakris Yan Shaata Huzaman Dinim Kashim. So let's look at number Dala, the Sekha the Erbit to feed his chakras. Nis bar the Tsarak Lita and Zedaka Bakal Boiker Kodan Shias Pala to feed his Amida. Besod Ani Bitsedek Echaz Banecho, so with Zedaka I will be able to get close to you. Vahal Kane Omer Khan, so therefore he's saying here the Kodan to feed his Sha'arvis. Ain't sorok lit and sedaka. You don't have to give sedaka. Why? Mach b'sha'ata b'laylo who's the man dinim kashim because now is a tough time. Now is the time of dinim kashim. Kenoida but the b'laylo who's the man shlit is a chitzonim because night time is the time of the where the the chitzonim have control. The kamei shekain and since that's the case, 
Ein bakochen de matak adinim, is that we don't have the strength to be able to sweeten the dinim. That's a dakar, but by giving it's a dakar. So he said, the gum Indian. So atzimas anaim. Now we're going to a different era area. We're going to a place where it's called atzimas anaim. The chibukah yadaim. So one is that you during this davening you're going to close your eyes, and at the same time you're going to clasp your hands together. Indian and niska the air but the fides of mincha. Who the zacher lo aser v'lo chabek shte yad of zu al zu tie your hands together. So the v'chein lizgor v'lo atzam eina ve'ez the fila. Also keep your eyes closed at the time that you're praying. Kol zera b'tzark lo asos gam b'tefidas arvus. So these two ideas which we mentioned in regards to shachos and mincha, they're also noeg at at marik. Aver b'kan yesh yisron acher. But there's something else here which is also uh, something extra. So now we say in the Arvis time, There are, yeah, there are two things you have to do here. Until you finish the entire Amida, Kula. And you'll see that more over there. Now, at this point, we're going to shift into the Shefa Kavanos. I'm going to be over here at this place, and I'm, this is a, a, trying to edit this so that I can get it into the same page, and we'll see how this works. it will be working again. Uh, I need it because i still got to get my glasses fixed, and I can't read the small print. It's really hard, a small print on, on the uh, Sifra de Tzniuta. He Nicholas alone the shofar that she's called the beautiful young lady. Kamosha Amar Hakasa v'Rachel Chosi Yafis Toyer v'Yafis Mara. Of this law I named, but then we mentioned this in in regards to Mincha at the uh, closing of the eyes. So he says the fee Sheshir Kamosa v'Rachel Minachaz of the Mata the Zer Anpin. Vein Kenegd the Bechinas Enayim the Zer Anpin Kedei the Hamshek Mechem Alecha Bechinas Enayim. Gam came so that she's not in a position where she can receive the lights from Zeranpen. Leah, on the other hand, Yesh Loranayim besod Veine Leah Rakos. So she does have lights. They're not strong, but they're uh there she has she has eyes. The Vishim Makum Leah who Lamala Bamakum Resha de Zeranpen, a Shasham Yesh Bakinas Ranayim de Zeranpen, the Misham Holechas are Rasam and then Shachas Bileah. So therefore, it's going to wind up going into Leah them, which is opposite that area. And so therefore, that light which is reaching us like, creates within her the aspect of the Naim. So therefore, we say that, that she has eyes. Rachel does not. So what does this what does this wind up being? What's shot there? who wrote like this, that the lies lies of air are Rachel's am the Rabbi Rachel his girl are Yofi. So here in Rachel they talk about how beautiful she is. Gemosha cause of Rachel chosi yafis Torah because it says that Torah v'yafis Mara v'lechav Leah, but doesn't say the same language about Leah. So she's up above. She's up above the Chaza. Because at the Chaza is where the, the lights of, of, I guess, he says, of the Sod of of, uh, of Ima open up. So here, that's it's all closed. This time you sowed the ima because that's where the you sowed the ima. And he's just saying saying it out. Hamalvish and makasa has a chesadim which goes and it covers over the chesadim. Vaz ha oras haheim amagulim meirim ba umiyafin law. So they they revealed in her and they they make her beautiful. Baharin is bar. So therefore you in other words, I, I don't know the lights themselves create the beauty on her. So before that, the layer can't get this. And I will explain why you're closing the eyes, why you close your eyes. Amnam, Tom, it's Starkos to give all Sarah, but the feet is Arvis, but the Hidev Ratsov. Now that, that issue, he said, who the feet, 
Sha'atahu besod zman laila shuhu zman achleshech, which is a time of darkness. Ba'amdacha biyom koya nimshach in the rochel enayim melamala. During the daytime, that's not a problem. He said, because he nimshach in the rochel enayim melamala. Avacha ba'arvis shuhu zman laila nechshachim ene rochel, so then her lies are in darkness. Avizecha betavin how it is in the language is that how is it the nighttime has the ability uh, to darken and cover over uh, the land at nighttime. Land is Malchus, which is Rachel. But having mashuhu inyan the choshech has said, and never understand what the inyan this choshech is. But God, lama he belayla below be yom. Why is it nighttime and not in daytime? Ad gan neshama. Okay, let's go. Let's. So what happened there was, we were in an explanation on number vav. And vav says, uh, going back on page nun dalad, he said vav uh, of aval kan yesh yisron achir, or maybe I. Uh, uh, didn't get to that yet. Um, where, where I just sort of a little confused. So let's let's read. Let's just read. It's a gadam inyan and this go the el betefilas and mincha. He the yachid la asa but the havik shte yadav zu al gabizu. For chen this gor but the ansem enav be esa tefila. Calls that sark la sosa gam but tefilas arvis. Okay, avalkan yesh yisron acher. There's something else. So he said, but the feet is arvis because now when we talk about nighttime, Sark la aso shne de bogum eva bisha shemaskil asher bidivaro bidivaro maravim aravim maariv aravim, sorry, ad tishlam kol amida kula until the entire amida is finished. Ever the time the dove and his boy is shamb at the feet the chakras, but the rush of his karma shall be shamb behind shamb hate. If so, we have some of that over here now. Now we go. So, uh, let me see. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry, it's the tivic of bonus that I was missing. I got it now. A king be Indian, the rabbi ye shin we bain to feed us arvis, the feed us the feed us chakras, the mencha. They either bit the feed the chakra, the mencha ain't sark la. Uh, Lachabek Yada Vilaatem Enov, Kim Bishas at the feet of Shimona Asre, only that. Veda Rabbe the feet of Arvish Yesh the Asos came to call it the feet of Kulda Rabbe Medahi, Rabbe the Hid of Berchus at Maarviv Aravim, and he said between that from the very beginning. So I guess he's excluding Barhu. He's of a Ratam Lachiluk Zen is Boyer Lukamon. Khan and we looked at some of that here. Leah, uh, excuse me, Rachel has no eyes. So let's go on, and now I guess we're on on Kavanas Abrachas Musados. Let's see how we're doing time rise. So the Kavanas Abrachas Musados al Sheva Hechelos. So let's just see if we can see a little bit of this. He says, uh, I'll read across the top. We have a few minutes. He says, Katefilis Arvis and Nana Katefilis Amentra. He said, "Get the feet as a mincha. He didn't kosher." Now, this is where he contradicts something was said before. He said it was didn't kosher at Arvis. Kenizka the erbe mekomo. The lechet e karek he amida. So, therefore, the main part of that is the amida, because what happens in the amida? Yeah, he ba'olam ba'olam matzilos, because the amida actually takes place in all the matzilos. About the feet as Arvis, he didn't rafi. It's a weaker din. The lechet. So here we bring in the yichud that takes place at kriyashma in bikosach along with its brachos, but but its brachos shesher b'chu sod hechle olam abriah kanaida, which is the secret of the hechelos of olam abriah. Uh, so he says, uh, let me see if I just keep reading across at the top, and we'll get an idea. And tomorrow we'll pick up the tibbuk of anas min nesarshan. But don't compare it there. And the chesed was 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 aroused there. We had the ability to be able to bring everything up all the way from the bottom to the top. 
So therefore, we have four different levels. There's Rosh Hashanah, and there's Miros, Vachayotz, etc. Made it finally. So we went through all of that, so we understand. But Vaat Ba'arvis came in Shuhu Din. There's a time of Din. Ain't Bana Koyach Rak La'Alos Heich Le'Rapriya Bilvad. What's special about Heich Le'Rapriya? Shuhu Olam Ba'Elyon, which is the highest of Bia. Uh, the aim klipos, and it's not really covered by klipos because it corresponds to bina, which is in the rosh. Now, if it was a really severe din, we couldn't even do that. But since it's a weaker din, we're able to elevate them. And that's going to be a subject we're going to get into uh, on the next time. So I think we got four minutes. Okay, so, so we have 16 minutes, I think. Okay.